Hello everybody, and uh, welcome back to something that I was afraid I'd never be able to welcome you guys to again. Another episode of Crazy Tech Reviews. Now, as you guys may have noticed, uh, for the past few days my channel has not been visible on YouTube or uh, in any way discoverable, and in today's video I sort of want to take you guys into sort of the story that happened and why it did. And uh, I also sort of want to talk about what I'm going to be doing moving forward from this incident. So, uh, this whole story all begins on uh, April 12th, when I woke up that morning to a notification or an email in my inbox that my YouTube channel had been terminated for spam, scamming, and deceptive content, or commercially deceptive content or something to that effect. Now, of course, I started freaking out because not in the history of my channel have I ever violated any of those things or done any of those things or used my channel um, in order to, uh, you know, uh, do, have those motives in order to scam people and uh, deceive people and anything like that. And so I start freaking out because, of course, I don't know what the heck is going on as a result of this. And um, basically, I woke up that morning and I started messaging people on Discord that the channel was gone and or to you know check and see if they could still find it and sure enough nobody else could as well um, and then of course this was before I got the email but uh, after that um, I noticed that there was a little section at the bottom called appeal where I could appeal this because I thought it was permanent and I'd never be able to do the channel again so I sent an appeal in which I'll show on screen it wasn't very good and as you might imagine it got turned down and during the day that I was waiting for my appeal to be heard, um, I sort of tried to make as much noise on social media as I could. I posted uh, several posts on my Twitter directed towards YouTube themselves and just directed towards everybody to retweet it and spread the knowledge and try to get somebody's attention at YouTube that something had gone wrong here and that my channel had been falsely terminated. And uh, it gained a lot of traction. That post was retweeted by several uh, other YouTubers that I know, including Action Retro, who you should definitely go subscribe to, as well as Computer Clan and uh, many other people as well. Um, and uh, basically all of them sort of spread the awareness that my channel had been gone. And um, also during this time, I posted the video onto my side channel, Crazy Tech Reviews Random Things, to sort of explain what happened. And I was hoping that by doing that, it would hopefully cause me to not lose all my viewership and uh, anything like that. Anyway, during that day, while I was still waiting for the um, uh, appeal notification to come through, I got a notification from Team YouTube that they had um, seen my tweet. And uh, uh, at first, the tweets weren't really helpful, but you know, I was really glad to sort of get somebody's awareness at YouTube that this had happened and that something wrong had gone down that caused my channel to be falsely terminated. And uh, sure enough, um, uh, I got their awareness, and uh, basically the first day ended around 11 p.m. when I got the notification that my appeal had been denied. So I woke up the next morning, which was April 13th, uh, so yesterday as of the time this is being filmed, and uh, and so me and Steve uh, from Mac84, who has been a real big help for my channel and just other things in general, uh, wrote up uh, a really nice appeal that sort of went into the, all the details I thought were causing my channel to be terminated. And I went to go submit that, but then I figured out I couldn't submit it for another two weeks. Now, keep in mind that not having any of your videos posted on your channel or having the channel at all for two weeks is very detrimental to any content creator. Essentially, that could cause you to, you know, people to forget about you, you know, forget about your videos, or just give up on trying to fight it. So I knew I had to do something sooner than to wait the two weeks. So I hopped back onto my Twitter, and um, I made more noise. I tweeted at Team YouTube several more times just to try to get some attention, and uh, sure enough, I got a response from them saying that they were, they wanted me to, or they wanted to help out, and they wanted me to um, send them some more info. First, they asked if I had given anybody else my account password, which obviously I did not because you know that's very dangerous. And I and they also and I also told them I had two-factor authentication enabled. Um, and then after that, um, they asked for more details regarding what happened to the channel. So I told them some of the reasons I thought possibly could have caused my channel to get terminated. Most of those reasons were things like somebody, for example, trying to report my channel just to get it taken down, as well as other things like um, 
maybe the some bot picked up something in one of my videos that was wrong as I did actually upload an unlisted video for other people to review and make sure all my facts were correct before I published it to the channel which obviously I never got to do because my channel was terminated so uh, basically I told them some of the reasons why I thought my channel had gotten terminated and uh, they came back uh, a few hours later letting me know that they had sent it off to the review team and uh, that is basically where day number two ended. I woke up this morning uh, and I did not notice anything new. Um, I sent them just a few more things that I realized could have possibly caused issues and uh, just sort of to let them know what was going on. Uh, anything else that I discovered that might have caused my channel to be terminated. And uh, I got a response from them saying that they had sent that over as well. And uh, at this point, I just continued to try to inform people on Discord, YouTube, just anywhere where I could get word of this. I actually started planning with XPlayIn, who, as you know, is the designer for a lot of the artwork and pictures and icons of my channel, and uh, he um, and I were talking about creating um, an entire new website to post my videos to in the meantime, because we were expecting this to take longer than just a day to get my channel back. However, later that day was probably one of the most relieving moments I have ever experienced in my entire life. I got this notif the notification that I had been dreaming about getting for the past three days. And that was that my channel had been restored. YouTube had turned out to make a mistake as I had figured they might have. And uh, all, the all my subscribers, all my views, all of my videos are now back up online. And honestly, I can't thank you guys who helped me out enough. Um, I can't thank all you, all my fellow friends and YouTubers, fellow YouTubers that have helped me. Uh, spread word of this and I also can't thank the YouTube Twitter uh, people enough for just doing everything they could to Try to get my channel back and um, Yeah, uh, if it weren't for you guys, I probably wouldn't have been here making this video today. So Thanks everybody so much for all that you've done to help me restore my channel and I appreciate it so much that I can't even uh, Explain how much I appreciate it Anyway, it's time for the next part of this video, and that's what I want to talk about what I'm doing to, or what I'm going to be doing moving forward. The first thing I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be uh, diversifying my channel onto different platforms. Now, one of the mistakes that I've always made from the get-go was that I always focused on YouTube as my primary platform, and I didn't really pay much attention to other platforms, uh, even though I had them, and um, that's going to be changing now. So. In the future, if my YouTube channel ever happens to go down, hopefully I'll get it back. But if it does, um, uh, I will be focusing more on my Odyssey profile, which you should definitely go follow me on. It's basically like YouTube. You can just create an account and it, uh, you can view all my videos over there. I have my channel directly transferred over there to where whenever I upload a new video here, it will be transferred over there. And so yeah, and I'm also probably going to be looking into more platforms and trying to sort of spread my reach outside of the YouTube bubble just in case uh, YouTube decides to delete my account. That way I don't lose all my influence and anything like that. So yeah, I'm certainly going to be trying to spread my reach across multiple platforms and uh, try to um, develop my, um, you know, uh, channel and account and uh, program on those other platforms. Another thing I'm going to be doing back here on YouTube itself is I'm going to be changing my account name. Now, I'm not going to be changing it to anything completely new. I just want to change it to where it eliminates the chances of what I think possibly caused the channel to take down or to be taken down. And that was uh, some, somebody else with my same name that happened to maybe want to get rid of me in order to take my spot on the YouTube search results. So from now on out, my channel name will be called CTR instead of Crazy Tech Reviews. This is something that I was planning on doing at some point in the future anyway, as a lot of people already refer to me as CTR or... Uh, you know, the abbreviation for Crazy Tech Reviews, so I sort of want to uh, try to do that. That way it sort of gives me a little bit more of a unique name anyway, and uh, sort of makes it easier to find my videos versus everybody else's with the name Crazy Tech Reviews. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, again, I'm super grateful for everybody's help in this situation. This was probably one of the more distressing moments in my YouTube career, and I'm extremely blessed and fortunate to be back in this platform and uh, I cannot wait for the future of this channel and I cannot wait to get back to doing what I love to do and that is producing videos for you guys so with that said thanks a whole ton to everybody who helped me with this and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys back with another episode of crazy tech reviews sometime in the future